Welcome back, my friends, to our last week of Nuggets for this quarter. Thank you, Pastor Bob, for sharing your insights about the armor of God last week. We've come to the end of our study for the book of Ephesians, and so this week we will spend each day reviewing one chapter. Today we will start with chapter 1. And I don't know about you, but typically I can't read Paul's letters the same way I read other books of the Bible, like Genesis or the books of Samuel. Paul's letters are so packed with intense, nutritious, spiritual food in each verse that going through a whole chapter in one sitting is like stuffing yourself with food. So I just want to focus on one theme of chapter 1, and that is Christ. I know it's very general, but it is the most structural part of our faith. It's because of Christ that Paul was an apostle and was even writing the letter and was even in prison. It's because of Christ that we're adopted into the family of God and there is such a thing as a church. It's because of Christ that we have an inheritance in the afterlife. It's because of Christ that we're sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. It's through Christ that we have access to all the might and power of God. If you've experienced grace in your life, it's because of Christ. Do I need to go on? One of the key verses for the theme of Christ is verse 10, which says that God gathers together in one all things in Christ. This is a great introduction Paul starts off with in the letter to the Ephesians, because it puts us in our place. You and I are nothing except through Christ. Don't let anyone ever glory in themselves thinking that they are grand in any way, shape, or form except through Christ. And if you live your life with that attitude, only exalting Christ in your life, you will be happy and blessed. If you have good relationships at church, it's thanks to Christ. If you have the hope of salvation and eternal life, thank Christ. If you get along with your spouse, thank Christ, because it's Christ living in the life of the believer that blesses everyone around them. So this sets the stage for the rest of Paul's letter. Some scholars say that it is impossible for Paul to have written this letter because no one who is in prison can be this happy. But when you have such passion for Christ, you can be happy no matter where you find yourself. What's one thing that stands out to you about this first chapter in Ephesians? Please share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. We love hearing from you. I'll see you tomorrow.